Okay. Well, folks, I've been looking on YouTube here for a video on shifter carts, on the carburation of shifter carts. Because, as you know, if you're trying to build a shifter cart with a dirt bike engine, like this one, this is a KX250, it is a gravity-fed carburetor. So, which means that you have floats inside the carburetor. But when your gas tank is below, the, below your carburetor, you have a tendency to... Uh, not get any fuel to the carburetor so what you have to do is you got to put a fuel pump on it now the problem with the fuel pump is is a fuel pump right here as you can see will pump fuel even when the floats are full the pump does not care the pump will still pump and then it causes it to flood out now there's a couple solutions to this one you could spend the money and uh you can get the uh, tank system. You get them from uh, Sweet Tech. He's got them for about four hundred dollars, and uh, you can put them on. There are big canisters that go above and below, and they all actually fill up with fuel, and um, that way it won't cause it to leak out from every port that you have here. But uh, there's another solution too: is a carburetor that is built by a company, and uh, it's called a pump around. Uh, what they basically do is they take your floats out and uh, put some kind of tube or something in there and they end up uh, fuel. You need two fuel pumps in that case because what's going to happen is one's going to pump it from the tank and the other one's going to pump it back to the tank. And again, you still have the, um, the fact that you can flood it out. Now, I didn't do neither of them. What I ended up doing is putting the fuel pump on, which you're gonna to have to tap in, drill in very carefully. I don't think we're gonna be able to see it. We're gonna drill into the side of the reed box, right here. You see where that yellow line goes in? Put a little nipple in there, and that there will get your carburetor pumping. And that'll lead up to the top, or whichever, car, whichever fuel pump you have, that's what it'll lead to. Also, when this is your uh, pulsating fuel pump. Once you hook this up and you run your lines from the tank, you're still going to have the issue that it's going to be pumping too much. So what you're going to do is put a T in it, which I did right over here. I put a T valve in it. This is coming from the tank and going to the carburetor. And right at the bottom here, I put a T in it. And that is actually going back to the carburetor, or back, I'm sorry, back to the fuel fuel tank right here. But again, you're still going to have the problem of flooding it out because, again, that fuel pump will keep pumping fuel no matter what. Now, there's a cheap and easy solution to fix that whole problem. What you do is you take a little fuel petcock, inline petcock right there, just like you would on a generator. And when you put it on, put it going into your carburetor and you just open it up just a little bit. And what that does is only allows a certain amount of fuel into the carburetor. Then when the fuel pump's still pumping, since it can't pump all of it into the carburetor because you don't have a fully open line, it'll start pumping it right back into your gas tank. Stops the flooding out. Don't have to spend the $400. And uh, you got yourself a shifter cart for basically cheap. And you're going to have to do a lot of modifications to it too. This is called a J bar down here. This is where you're going to be shifting from. I basically took tie rod ends and put them on there and uh, put a, welded a couple tie rods together. And that's what made it the shifter here. You got the shifting right here. Um, 250s, KXs, they don't make a shifter cart pipe for it so i had to do some custom modifications to it it's not the prettiest um i'm sure there's going to be people out there telling me what i did wrong but you know what it's fast as hell it uh it's not the prettiest but it does work um i got the pipe on it and just you know with the expansion with the uh with the silencer here at the back make sure you mount everything up pretty good pretty solid that way uh you don't have any issues with it uh cracking off there but um it's, it's a pain in the ass. It's going to cost you a shitload of money. Um, I did this whole cart here while I traded a couple things for the motor and uh, traded a couple things actually for the frame. So I paid uh, about 300 for the frame, paid about 400 for the motor, 
and uh, just piece by piece I put it together and um, I did the whole thing for right about uh, I'd say right about a thousand dollars I got myself a KX250 shifter cart and if you guys want look at my page and uh, you'll see me doing some donuts and uh, ripping ripping up and down a deserted street we have out here in the desert but uh, it is fast it is fun and is very very dangerous and you will hit speeds over you know depends on what size motor you put on uh, 120 130 miles an hour but this is the most sought out engine right here and this is what everyone could race with 1999 CR125 and uh, but this is not yet quite set up you still got the uh, the valves that got to come out and uh, a couple other little things I'm gonna have to put a little tap hole into here in the reed box here and that's where I'll put my nipple so for my pulsating carburetor or I'm sorry pulsating fuel pump that's what will feed off of right here and uh, but this is will be race legal here by the time I'm done and uh, again you know uh, enjoy have fun and be safe thanks for looking